Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ness. This time I'm gonna do a quick boot review from Converse Crafted Boot. Uh, as usual, I create three different looks. Let's go. So in the last couple of years, Converse really innovated game, especially their tooling also on their sneaker. Um, a lot of time, like you see like Converse is already iconic, right? But how can you make them even better? Um, I feel like Converse doing a great job with the collaboration and as well the tooling that they play around with the, the rubberized foxings uh, style, but still keep the originality of the Converse. Uh, in my opinion, the most iconic part on Converse is the rubberized toes. That's the most iconic detail on Converse. You can see them from the far, you know that that is the pair of Converse. In my recommendation, I think Converse 90 is the best Converse. The regular Converse is a eh, it's just poor quality and the shape is not really nice. In this video, not about this classic style, but it's more like a modernized, kind of like model from Converse, which is just the crafted boot. I've been keeping eyes on this boot for the last couple of years. In this past like Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale, um, I able to get myself a pair on sale. Um, I think the original price was 120 and it's on sale until like 90 bucks. I think it's very reasonable price and um, it's worth the money for sure because I really like the silhouette on this boot and let's get a closer up into this pair of boots. So this is the packaging of the crafted boot from Converse. The top down view you can see is the logo of the Converse and at the side you can see is the word Converse. Um, the packaging is pretty decent. I think this is not really a collaboration or special model from Converse. So I think it's just the basic packaging. So let's get into the shoes. So this is the packaging of the crafted boot from Converse. The box is just the basic logo from Converse and at the side you can see it's Converse word. I think the box is pretty decent because it's not really a special collaboration or a premium product. So I think this is the box for any other Converse products as well. Let's get into the shoes. This model being released, I think, four or five years ago, but they keep making them. I bet the shoes is pretty well, like sell pretty good. So that's why they keep having them every single season. Um, the thing that really caught my eyes was uh, the shape of this boot. Uh, it's not junky, very slim. It's not and also it's not fit around the ankle area. So let's talk about the material used on this pair of boot. Um, material wise, I think it's the PU coated leather. It's not really a real leather in my opinion. Um, the shoes, however, the shoes is very well stitched and put them together. Um, if you look at the construction around the toes area, um, they fold it piece of the material, uh, make it a clean edge uh, compared to the side foxing that you see is like a raw edge. And go to the medial size and there's a logo of the Converse with the suede deboss. Um, I think it's a good touch that they use the different color of the material. I only like the wax laces. Um, the only thing I don't like about the laces, um, I would recommend it uh, flat laces. Um, I'm more into I'm a flat laces person. Go to the tongue. I think the tongue is my least favorite of the shoes because it's very lumpy. Uh, doesn't really hold its shape. Um, however, I think it's it's okay. It's okay because when you wear them, it's just gonna um, gonna keep the shape is stand up, you know. But the the tongue it doesn't really have padded or anything. Um, the whole shoes doesn't really have padded um, around the angle as well. I'm wondering if they change the toe as a rubberized toe. Is that could be different a little bit because uh, this piece right here is the one piece of the pattern, right? They have pattern break right here and pattern break right there. So I'm wondering if this one piece is a rubber piece 
I think would look better. And let's go into the insole. Um, the only thing that the color that throw me off, the blue look nice on the lace, but the insole color blue is kind of feel like it's a little bit cheap. I understand it. This is Converse, but the blue color uh, kind of remind me of athletic sneaker, not like what they call crafted boot, you know. Um, but it's okay. Um, it's insole. Not really a lot of people care about the insole. I do care about the insole um, from the comfort standpoint, you know. It, the shoes is very comfortable uh, when I wear them. I feel like I can walk all day on this boot. Um, let's go into the outsole, the tooling. The webbing is not real webbing. I think it's just a rubberized uh, a webbing piece. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's just a, a detail, just like a create a boot looking shoes, you know. Um, go with this midsole, up white color right here. It's the EVA material and this piece is the rubber uh, on the outsole. Very typical pattern of the boot and uh, have the Converse logo here. So overall, I think the boot is pretty good for the price 120. I got it on sale, $90. I think it's the pretty good price. If there, if there one adjustment that I able to fix, I wish the boot around um, the tongue area, they have a gutsis on this, around this, right? Around the tongue and the upper. The gut is up to here, where the instep at, you know, uh, have that gut is because if you wear the shoes through the snow, I bet the snow, the water will get inside here because the tongue is pretty deep, go all the way to this. It doesn't have um, gut is to protect um, this area. So it's kind of, it can really prevent the water get inside the shoes. Um, when the water get inside my shoes, it's very annoying things, you know. For uh, people that are under the budget during the winter, for $90, it's pretty good for that price. Classic, stylish, and you basically can wear with anything um, on this boot. Not like complicated, crazy. Um, if you are looking for longevity, a a boot then this is not a good one for you other than that the shoes is nice for that price and up next I'm gonna share with you guys how I personally like to style the shoes
So there you have it. This is my review on a pair of crafted boot from Converse. And I create three different looks to go with this boot. Uh, if you like one of the look in this video, comment below in the comment section. And give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel for more video. I have a lot of video coming up every single week and I can't wait to share with you guys. I'm out.